is probability of succeeding an opposed check the same when the second check is passive? An opposed check is a well-known kind of check in many games, when two opponents roll dice, add modifier and compare results. It differs from a convenient dice roll when you compare your result against a constant number DC, target number or whatever. There is also a concept of passive check in 5e when you just take 10 instead of rolling d20. An opposed check against a passive value effectively turns into a simple 1 being made against a constant number. Now, let's say there are two sides makes opposed rolls using modifiers A and B first one rolls D20 and adds A, while second one always uses constant number 10 plus B in terms of statistics, should these checks have the same hit, miss rate, D20 plus A as opposed to D20 plus B, D20 plus A as opposed to 10 plus B, I'd say rolling D20 is a little better than 10, since the average of D20 is 10.5, but my probability intuition isn't very good. In order to minimize number of dice rolls, if I change all opposed PCs versus NPCs checks to roll versus passive checks, players always roll, NPCs always use the passive values, how does it affect my games? Let's first simplify the problem by setting x equals a minus b dot. It should be clear that the success rate of d20 plus x versus a plain d20 is the same as for d20 plus a versus d20 plus b similarly the success rate of d20 plus x versus 10 is the same as for d20 plus a versus 10 plus b it turns out that for x close to zero both of these methods give similar odds with the roll versus 10 being slightly more likely to succeed due to the fact that as you note the average of d20 is 10.5 rather than 10 however for sufficiently large x Rolling against 10 is a lot more likely to succeed. In particular, x is greater than or equal to 9 or higher obviously. Always succeeds against 10, but the success rate of d20 plus 9 versus d20 is only 86.25%. Conversely, for sufficiently negative values of x, it's better to roll against a d20 rather than against 10. In particular, x is less than or equal to minus 11 always fails against 10, but d20 minus 11 versus d20 still has an 11.25% chance of success. Looking at the output of this any dice program, the break-even point turns out to be at x equals minus 5, where both methods give a success rate of exactly 30%. Screenshot. So, in conclusion, rolling d10 plus a versus d20 plus b and rolling it versus 10 plus b are approximately equivalent as long as the difference between the bonuses a and b isn't too large. But if the difference gets close to plus or minus 10 or more the two methods start to give significantly different success rates.